Hey guys, my name is Matt Outdoors here and today we're going to go ahead and do a modification to my kayak. It is a Lifetime Teton Angler Kayak and we're going to go ahead and do a couple modifications I've been wanting to do so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so the first modification is gonna be a simple one. I found it on uh, social media and on YouTube. And having a kayak is all about utilizing your storage space and any possible square inch of the kayak, especially when you're fishing or, or uh, camping in your kayak. So the first one, let's go ahead and pull it out. It's gonna be the Pack Trade Marine Bag Lock Design. And this is a simple storage compartment that you can add on to your kayak. And the trick to this, when you're shopping for it, is make sure it is watertight or water sealed. Look at the reviews. I made sure the one I, I purchased, and I'll put the link of everything today down below, is that whether it's a hard surf that hits the kayak or a hard torrential downpour, that it's gonna stay dry. Whatever's in here is gonna stay dry. Um, my understanding is that if it gets submerged, however, it will not stay dry. So. If you flip the kayak or the kayak goes under underwater, this won't stay dry, but if hard rain, a surf, a wave, something gets on top of it, it'll be fine. So as you can see here, it's a pretty deep compartment and it's apparently very easy install and we'll do it together. So the install, we're gonna start with this drill bit right here. It's a 165 millimeter drill bit. Fair warning though, I've already been messing around with it, hence I'm wearing the safety gloves. Um, if you go, let me put the setting a lot lower. If you let this spin without putting it on the kayak, you're going to see that it spins on its own. So there you go. So as you can see, it's spinning on its own, so it's not going to be tight. So just fair warning when you purchase this, um, that that is going to be a safety hazard. Okay, so make sure you keep it tight on the kayak when we're doing this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we're out here in the front of the kayak and we got our first compartment going. Now we're kind of eyeballing it. Um, the nice part is all the screw holes, there's an even amount of screw holes. So the two things that we're looking at before we start cutting and drilling into this kayak is one, the space around the compartment. We want to make sure there's enough space here if we ever decide to add anything uh, to it. And second of all, the positioning of the compartment. Our original thought was to place it like this so that it was easier for myself to open the compartment however thinking about it it's harder to reach back here for the compartment to close it so then the second idea was this way making it the top of the compartment open up towards you but now you have this in the way so ultimately we decided to do it sideways like i showed you originally so that it is not hard to reach it opens it's out of the way and as well as you there's no interference right here so you can grab anything out of the compartment so this is the way we're going to go ahead and install this watertight compartment make sure you have some gloves and safety glasses for this just a little, you have to work it a little bit there we go all right and there we go, the bottom part of the kayak. All right, y'all, so this is how the inside of the kayak looks. This is the bottom, this is the top, and this is how the drill bit will look afterwards. So don't worry, just pull it off. I really recommend wearing safety glasses for this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the inside of here so that everything is taken out properly. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and put this lined up. This comes with a sealant or some sort of seal right here, so make sure it's on nice and tight. And I just started, I pulled the red here so I can go ahead and put that in and see if it's a nice fit. Perfect fit. That is awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it and then let's take one screw at a time. 
and don't lose screws in the grass. I set the power on low so I'm not stripping anything. And let's just go ahead and start. That's very easy. So you guys can do this easily. Okay, let's check it out. Let's open it, and there we go. We have our com watertight compartment. Number one down, one more to go. All right guys, so we're here in the back of the kayak, and this is where I'm gonna put my compartment, right in this part of this lifetime kayak, okay? One, it's nice and flat. Other thing is, here's your drain plug, so I don't wanna interfere with this. Also, this is where I'm gonna be putting my Yeti cooler or my Yeti bucket. Uh, this is where I like to keep stuff or waterproof bags if you're camping, etc. So this compartment is gonna be more for a storage that when I either go to a sandbar or go to my destination, I can take out um, whatever I need from here, I can keep extra gear. But this isn't gonna be one that I'll be using actively while I'm kayaking or fishing on my kayak, okay? So we're gonna keep the lever same right over here. The screws, it's gonna be the same process, same drill bit. Now, the only thing is the center is gonna be five and three quarters as we measured here. It's gonna be five and three quarters, so keep that in mind, okay? Other than that, let's get started. All right, guys, so this is something I did not know. You can actually take the part inside off, and if you need to work on anything in here, you can still do that. So that's actually nice. I never have to unscrew this to continue wiring. Uh, if I wanna add electronics or any wiring, especially a light or something over here, I don't have to worry about that. So that's really nice that I don't have to worry about doing that. And then all you have to do is, there's two little points right here and you just have to make sure it fits in there and that will secure your bag in there and that's it and this that helps oh never mind actually you gotta make sure it's below so that this actually locks there you go so make sure your bag's all the way below the two little points here because that's going to be your locking mechanism and there you go number two done all right guys, that is a wrap. I decided to cut the video right here because I wanted to continue uh, on this YouTube channel about modifications on this lifetime kayak. So I decided let's make it a series and let's make it a playlist. So instead of one long video, we're gonna go ahead and break them up. All right, but this is our first one. It was a very easy, simple install. If you have all the tools and everything you need and not videoing, it'll probably take you about 30 minutes to complete. It's not that hard. Uh, just be conscious and safety uh, when using the drill bit and things like that. But I'm very excited to take this out. Uh, this storage is fantastic. Super simple, very deep to use. And I can't wait to get on the water, whether I'm fishing or camping out of the kayak or just having a good day trip. I feel like I'm really gonna utilize this space. This one and the one in the back. So you guys will be along for the ride. But for right now, this is the first video of this series for the modification of the Lifetime Teton Angler Kayak. And guys, I would love your support please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment down below again, if you would like to make any suggestions or have any questions, I love answering questions. And other than that, the next video will be posted and I'll go ahead and start the series and hopefully get you out on, this, on, uh, on the water to show you what this thing can do with all the modifications. So until the next adventure.